I am Ivana Mauri Mora, and I am here today as a high school junior. I am still trying to find out what I want to do. I am interested in STEM careers, but I'm not really sure exactly which uh, field I'd like to go into, and a lot of students out there are facing the same situation. So today, I have Lilkar Molina, a chemical engineer. Um, welcome. Gracias, Ivana. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, that's right, I am a chemical engineer and uh, I have been graduated for uh, close to 17 years now. Mm -hmm. um, my first question is, what inspired you to become an engineer? Why did you choose this field? Um, as a young um, girl, I actually was very passionate about how to transform one thing to the other. Even uh, something as simple as a shirt and uh, you know where did that start and then where did that finish mm -hmm. um, in the baking process I was always you know inspired for how to bake a cake mm -hmm. and what were all the things that happened and how you had to mix things so I was very curious to understand what you needed to do in order to transform things into something else so that was one of the things that inspired me the most mm -hmm. I, I was always looking um, you know, how to mix out of something, something else. Did you face any obstacles on your way to reach this career? Lots. Um, I studied back in my country of origin and uh, the first mental challenge that I actually faced was chemistry, math and physics are hard and are very tough to do. And that was just a mental challenge rather than a reality. I mean, STEM uh, subjects, they do have a difference versus other subjects. I mean, you do have to study them in a different way, but you can, you really can, you, you can get them. Mm -hmm. Once you actually put yourself into it, then it's, it's very easy. Um, the other challenge was, you know, um, the transition from high school to university. I went into university when I was 16 years old. Wow. Yes. <laughs> so that on its own, um, you know, I had to make a big decision between, okay, do I want to go, you know, partying and dancing or do I want to go and focus on my studies? Mm -hmm. So certainly uh, it takes a lot of courage, you know, to, to take the right decision and to know that whatever choice you make mm -hmm. is actually going to bring a consequence down in your life. Um, and uh, once I was able to focus on my career, then I had a very easy way to go. Um, what do you do every day, day to day uh, in your career? I keep transforming things from one point to the other, uh, but in this occasion I'm actually working uh, bridging what consumers or people want and then bridging it with technology. So I work in innovation, creating new things, new ideas, and, uh, and helping bring many consumers solutions. Mm -hmm. um, do you have a message for women who are looking into becoming an engineer, uh, which can also seem a little um, difficult because they're a minority in this field? Absolutely. Like I said before, don't be afraid. Take challenges. Life, bring, uh, it, it's a mixture between choices and consequences. Um, engineering is a wonderful career, it's a wonderful career for women, it is a career also for women and, uh, and you know it's, it's just keep going, just keep going, you know make sure that you talk to, uh, to others like us, um, talk to other women engineers, uh, ask us you know what do we do day in and day out, I'm not locked in a cubicle like many people mm -hmm. think. I actually get to talk to many people, even lots of people I don't know um, as an engineer. Do I get to go to the lab? Absolutely. Now and then I get to go to the lab. You can always choose you know, what path you want to go. If you want to go all the way through a lab or if you want to go not all the way through a lab. So there are many things in between and you are in charge of your uh, choices. So. Connect with others, you know, ask others, shadow other engineers that are women. Um, it's a wonderful career and it's full of rewards. So it, give it a try. Mm -hmm. Give it a try. And do you have a message for high school students who are looking into this career, who, men or women, boys or girls, who are interested and want to know more about this career? Absolutely. Number one, 
it's not as difficult as many people think. Uh, it is, it is a, a career of resistance. It's not a career of speed. Make sure to keep going, to keep trying, and stay focused. Uh, does it require lots of math? Somewhat. Uh, you know, many of those abstract, uh, or actually, subjects, you know, chemistry, uh, physics, mathematics, but it's well worthy. Uh, it helps you develop a lot of skills that actually will enable you to, you know, to be able to solve many other issues in, in, in life. Um, ask someone that is an engineer what inspired them uh, to become engineers. Ask, you know, watch your videos because certainly I, I know that you're interviewing many of us mm -hmm. and every single person is going to be having a different perspective. Um, what else you can do? You can talk to your uh, teachers, physics, chemistry, or uh, mathematics teachers and ask them to. Ask them, you know, to your school principals or counselors to connect you with somebody that is in the field. Uh, there are many programs about shadowing. And the reality is that in the United States, we are actually needing lots of people in the STEM, in the STEM fields. So that is just going to give us a competitive mm -hmm. advantage later on, you know, if we are to stay on those, on those, on those careers. Mm -hmm. It is very rewarding, you know, it, it provides a great uh, sense of fulfillment. So it, it's, it's all great. <laughs> it has its challenges, but it's all great, all in all. Thank you very much for coming. I, it was an honor to interview you. Thank you, and you're doing a wonderful job, Ivana. Okay. <laughs>